very briefly, Caroline Spellman, when she published the consultation document last week, confirmed that the government does not propose to sell the forest to Dean to private or commercial owners. All that is being consulted on is whether or not a charitable trust should take over the ownership or management of the Forest of Dean. So I see someone shaking their heads. That is what the government is consulting on. That is all. There is no proposal to sell the Forest of Dean to private or commercial owners. At the moment. Can, at all. Can we have Well, let me, let me, let me, look, look, let me I just said, let, hang on, hang on, let me, let me just, let me just finish my opening remarks and then you can absolutely ask questions. I think it's also worth saying that when the issue first arose last year, I spoke to uh, the Forestry Minister and the Secretary of State to make sure that none of the government's proposals would damage the Forest of Dean. That was my first job as your Member of Parliament. Once I had established that none of those proposals were going to damage the Forest of Dean, I as a Minister had to wait until they were published, which took place last week, before I could lay them out in detail. I have been reassuring people consistently that the government had no plans to sell the Forest of Dean to private or commercial owners, and the only thing that was going to be consulted on was a transfer to a charitable trust. Some people believed me, some people didn't. Now, the government's made its proposals subject to the consultation process. Uh, it's not a done deal at all. The government <coughs> wants to hear your views. The consultation was open uh, from last Thursday and will be open for a period of three months. Uh, and I would very much suggest that everyone that has views, whether they're views about the forestry estate in general, the Forest of Dean in particular, and I know there are some people here who represent particular interests. Can I just say that people apparently are trying to come here? You've got people outside. Yes. Well, that's fine. They, they will be able to come. I'm going to hold. We've, I've, uh, they asked me a question about whether or not. Is that work? Oh, right. Okay, that's work. Right. We, we were told there would be a speaker system to the Well, not, 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 well, not by us, you were. You were told that. Well, no. We. We, we didn't, we didn't say that to anyone, that was, that was something other people said. Um, so I would urge everybody to respond. You told us that an hour ago there would be a PA system available. You told us that literally about an hour ago. Yeah, no, no, but I'm just saying, people that beforehand that were told, we, were, we didn't announce in advance that was going to be the case. So anyway, no, no, well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just using, I'm using the microphone. Is this how you treat your constituents? Leave them outside? Well, look, do you want to, look, we've got them, we've, well, look, we've got the maximum, listen, uh, is it democratic? I, should you not have a larger room? Yeah. Could you? Yeah. Uh, look, yeah. would you answer that question if you don't have more room? Yeah. 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 Please, would you allow Mark Harper to address you? If you are going to interrupt, I will call the meeting to a halt. So please allow Mark Harper to address you. Look, I know, I know some of the people here don't want to listen to the facts. Because the facts don't fit your preordained arguments. So let me just let me just finish. Look, Brian in his opening remarks made clear that we have two hours for this meeting. I'm very happy to listen to all of your thoughts. The PA is not working, Mark. Right. right. Well, we'll have to continue Can we shut in here. Um, and I've already, by the way, just so you know, those of you that are in this room, we have already explained to the people outside that this won't be the only meeting that I've got to be, so that those people I'm leaving, this is useless! As I was 
just say it. The consultation is open until the 21st of April. And I urge you all to listen. Well, I'm afraid your meeting is being disrupted by the more violent. Everybody, everybody, everybody in here could hear me perfectly well. Before, before everybody else outside started shouting. opportunity to ask questions and that's entirely up to you but some people here like that lady over there has a specific question that she wants to be able to well, stop shouting well, well why don't you close the window behind you then you rearrange this meeting in a proper place where everybody can come I would urge you all to respond to the consultation, and you can either respond in general about the government's proposals on forestry. The microphone is not working. We cannot hear. We cannot hear. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. I've asked them to come and prepare, yeah. and they can't. Because the people that made it, they Yes, we've, well, we've, we've, we've secured equipment, and the equipment that we have secured has proven to be faulty. It's not a case that we haven't tried. But those of you that can't hear, it would help if you stop shouting, and if the gentleman at the back would not open the window again. You are trying to disrupt the meeting. You're deliberately trying to disrupt the meeting. Another meeting. The, the second thing, which is very important because I know this is something that's concerned people, is about the public is about the public bodies bill. And the Secretary of State has made it clear that the government is going to amend the public bodies bill so that the only power that ministers would have is to transfer the Forest of Dean to a charitable trust. Please be quiet. Or so, leave it. Speaking, you are in. Or leave it in public ownership. Those yes. will be the. Those will be the only two. Why don't we have a referendum then? Those will be the only two things that the, the ministers will be empowered to do. So it will. That, well, hang on. I've nearly finished, and then I'll absolutely take your question. And therefore, it will not be possible for ministers in a future government to sell the Forest of Dean to private or commercial owners. That will be prohibited uh, by the amendments the government will make to the Public Bodies Bill. Now I know that's something that's been of particular concern and I was very pleased the Secretary of State was able to make that position clear last week uh, when she published her written statement and the consultation. Now that's all I wanted to say at the beginning. Now I'm very happy to listen to you. Uh, I think probably that lady there was the first one in on questions. So Brian, if you want to take hers first, yep. um, and I'm very happy we've got an hour and 50 minutes to deal with the rest of them. Thank you all very much.